Page 54, God of Wonders. 4-4 four, four time, key of G major, has got one sharp. Rhythm, 16th notes. It's a slow piece. So, well, sort of slow. 1 and 2 and. And you can either count the 16th notes 1 and 2 and, or you can just count 8th notes and feel the 16th notes in between them. Like at the beginning. I can go 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a. Or 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2. To me, that's a little easier because I'm too lazy to go 1 E and a 2 E and a. How you do it is up to you, but be accurate with this rhythm. Second line, first measure, same thing. One and two and three and four. Just know those sixteenth notes are twice as fast as an eighth note. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Top of page fifty-five. One and two and three and four and one. Now it gets interesting. Second line. You almost have to count this out with a 1E and a 2E and on this one. 1E and a 2E and a 1E. Because you're not playing on the 8th notes. You're playing on the 16th note part of it. And part of that is 1. I mean, what you hear somebody else do it and say, oh, is that, is that how it goes? But can you read the music and understand that's how it goes without hearing somebody else do it first is what I'm after. So it's 1 and 2 and playing in between my numbers here. One and two and three and four and. <sighs> Third line down. One and two. Now it's not so bad. And the last line down. One and two and three. You've had that before. On page 56 I don't see anything here tricky as far as the rhythm for the right hand. And their, their fingering is fine. You can use that last line on page 56, just briefly, one and two and three and four. There's one, two, four there on the second measure. One and two and, and you can do the, I prefer a four, one and then a three on the E. Because I want to connect here and that, that's how I do it. So it's a one, two, four, one, two, five, and then a one, four. And then a two. That's how I recommend it. Now the left hand has to be soft, it's just harmony pretty much. Follow their fingering, it's fine. Over on the tricky part on page 55, the second line, first measure, the left hand's no help at all, it's just got half notes. Lucky left hand. However, Take a look at the top of page 55, second measure, you're here. I recommend a 2-3 on the eighth notes, and then a 4 on that first half note on the second line, and then you can play a 1 for the second half note. You don't have to cross over the thumb there. And then second finger on the next measure, and then at the bottom, I do a 5 on the a, they say four, I don't know why. A five is fine because when you get to the next measure on the C's, you can do a three and then a two, and now you're in position to do the last line. On page 56, I don't see anything too tricky here. At the beginning, I would be doing a five again. You've had this before, a five here, and then the next measure on the C's, it would be a three, two. The last line on page 56 is here. Reach up, and then the last measure, that C is tied for the rest of the measure. You're going to hold them down. So work it out one hand at a time, then put the hands together slowly here. One and two and one and two and three.
56, the second line can be a little challenging here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and the last line at the bottom. One, two. Then we add a little bit of pedal to smooth it all out. Keep in mind this isn't really piano music. It's vocal music with a piano accompaniment. It's not really pianistic as far as the accompaniment goes. People are here to hear the solo. They're here to hear the vocalist, not the piano part. So I can't help you. I mean the idea is learn it the way it's written first and then if you can improvise a piano solo out of it by all means go for it. But for we just need to keep everything subdued except the melody where there's words we want to bring those notes out for the words and everything else has to be kept under it. Dynamics they don't give you much in dynamics. You got an MP at the beginning and an, an MF over there on page 53 where you can get a little louder in the chorus you know the, the hard part the tricky part. Feel the dynamics. Get to know the piece and then feel the dynamics. Pedal wise I'm going to change it with a harmony so a lot of this is to be every two beats Occasionally, I may not pedal it like I may not pedal a note like in page 55, second line at the end there, the two eighth notes. The left hand has a rest. I won't pedal that because I want to hear the rest in the left hand. If I want to connect those eighth notes, then I have to pedal it. But I'm going to change the pedal before I play them so the left hand sound goes away first. So at the beginning, I'm going to pedal. I want hands and then the pedal. The pedal lags behind the hands. It's here. Change. Change. down on page 55. I'm going to change it on beat 3 here. Right there. Again, on beat 3 on the next measure. Uh, otherwise, a lot of this I'm, I'm changing it with the half notes in the left hand for the most part. The last line on page 55. And the left hand has a rest, so I'm going to change it. Either change the pedal or lift the pedal up. Because you have a page turn here, you're probably going to have to have the pedal down here. And what you can do right there is, once the left hand has played the first note, then go ahead and leave out the other notes in the left hand and turn the page, if you can. To, I mean, you'll, you have to work out the page turn so it works for you, but. Somehow you, the beat goes on. You can't mess up the beat because of the page turn. But on page 56, it's it's again every two beats here. And the second line, second measure. It's I hold it down for the whole measure there. For the third line down, the last measure, the last. I don't pedal those. Somehow you got to get the page turned again. You may have to leave out the notes in the left hand again and turn the page back real quick with the left hand as you're finishing the measure so you can go back without messing up the beat. However, let's go on. The last line is here. Every two beats. getting softer and calming down so we don't want so much blurriness so in the second measure I'm pedaling the last two beats separately so it's here and then the, you can hold it down for the last measure all the way through we want that dissonance there that's okay 
If the dissonance bothers you, then change the b pedal after you play the G. I lift up, but I prefer the dissonance. I prefer to keep it all, so I'd keep the pedal down all the way to the end. And then the pedal and hands all come up together. Now, something I want to bring out more, as, uh, I don't know that I really explained this very well. As far as the dynamics go, we want to hear the melody above everything else. And here, the melody is when the words are. So you bring those notes out, and everything else is always kept down. So like at the beginning, sort of soft, that's really to the melody. So keep this soft here. Now, see, I want to hear that over everything else. line at the beginning, that first one, that's soft. The words aren't until the sixteenth notes. And frankly, I like this with a very little pedal myself. I, I just don't see why we have to pedal everything. Because like in the page 54 second line here, to pedal any of that. I can pedal this, but I don't have to pedal the part where I'm singing. Pedal this, lift up. You get a little louder. be your decision on what you like. I encourage you to experiment. Use as little pedal as possible, but it's up to you on the sound. I want to do a play with me real slowly to check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not doing dynamics, they don't give you much, but uh, I'm going to do pages 54 and 55, and I'm going to stop, turn the page, and I'm going to count in again to do page 56. And we're going to go slow. So I'll give me four counts. If you want to play along, go ahead. Maybe at least with the right hand or something. One, two, ready and go, and one, two, and. Ready and go, and... 